Hi, I'm Mike, and I'm going to show you right now how to spin up a Firebase Firestore database and read and write to it using Python. So we're going to go every step start to finish, and we will essentially be following the Firebase Getting Started Quick Guide. And what we're going to do first thing, though, is we're going to start a brand new project. So I'm going to go to my Firebase console, start a new project. This is how you can have a, a back end or a database with zero infrastructure and with enough care, zero cost, you know, until you get uh, tons of users, which would be great. Then you won't mind paying money. All right, we're going to call this delete me. And then in the meantime, and we don't need analytics, so we're going to create our project. It's going to spin up a new Firebase project. Um, I'm going to write Python in Jupyter Notebooks, but you could write it um, you can execute your Python in any environment you want. I just happen to be using Jupyter Notebooks today. All right, and we're going to go continue. And now we are going to go to, you see here, we are in our delete me project. We're going to go to Firestore database, click the button. And now let's do create database. And we're just going to start in test mode. It's got to do with, uh, it just doesn't, we don't have to fiddle with security. Um, okay, I do have to move my face. All right, let's go next. Choose a location. So this is just choose a uh, database location. I'm going to use US West 2. Doesn't really matter. We're going to delete this project anyway. All right, so this is going to provision us a space in their cloud somewhere where uh, we can have a database that we can read and write to. Okay, in the meantime, while that's spinning up, you're going to want to do a couple commands. You're gonna to wanna, to, I did pip, but in your command line, in the directory that you're working in or however you wanna set up your virtual environment, you're gonna to wanna to do pip install upgrade Firebase admin. So do that in your command line. And now, okay, good. So Firestore's database is, how I like to think of it is, so it alternates, you've got a collection, and then you've got within a collection, you have documents. So let's just make one really quick to show you what it looks like. Start a collection. Let's call this collection users. And now within users, we can start, let's just do cancel, um, oops, sorry. I thought I was going to be able to add them ad hoc, but never mind. Okay, so let's say um, users. Let's go with uh, Mike is a, going to be a document ID. And we're going to do name is Mike. Add a field. Age is 100. Let's make that a number. Okay, then we can add this. And this is what you'll see the structure. Oops, error loading documents. It did not load the mic document. Why is that? There you go, okay. So you see here, this is like, you've got a table with users. Users is like a table. And then you've got documents. And the document I like to think of as like a row of data but the row of data has a key. That key is the name right here, Mike. And then um, within that row of data, these are like the columns, age and name. It's also an object essentially. And so, um, yeah, this is all like based on, it's like a giant hash table. It's just a dictionary, but you can have nested dictionaries within dictionaries. So, and then you can start a new collection within this document called Mike or this row of data called Mike. Um, but let's trash all of this. So let's go delete collection. Yep, we want to delete users. And it wants us, oh, we've got to name it right. Users, capital U. Okay, now let's do it from a Python script. So empty database, as you see here. So we've done our pip install, upgrade Firebase admin, according to the getting started guide. And you see here, Python, here's that command. And then let's go down this is how we're going to initialize our, our app. So let's copy this. 
We're going to import Firebase Admin, and then we're going to get Credentials and Firestore. Now, the credentials, it's, what this is going to do is it's going to, if you see here, we're doing Client. It's going to use this cred. And this cred comes from this service account, path to service account.json. So this is going to be a secret key file specific to this project. So what we do is we go to project settings in the delete me app in Firebase, go to project settings. We're going to go to service accounts and we are going to go to Python. And you see here, this is like what we just did, but now we need to generate this private key. So generate new private key, generate it. Be careful with this private key. Don't upload it to GitHub. Um, I'm going to delete it right away. So you can't write to my database. But now we see we have this JSON file that we just downloaded. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in the same directory as my uh, Firebase example. So let me, I'm going to do that now in my Jupyter notebook. Okay, now I have the path, and this is the file name. So remember, this is just, I'm putting this file, this JSON file that we just downloaded from Firebase in the same directory as this Python script, so that I can just call it directly right here. And we are good to go. Hit shift return, no errors, wonderful. Okay, so next up, uh, let's create some data to throw into our database. I'm just gonna, we're gonna create objects. We're gonna create two objects. And each of these will be like a row of data in our database. So let's go object one. Let's say name is Mike. Let's do age is 100. And let's do net worth is a lot. Okay, good. Let's go object two is um, name. Let's do Tony. Let's make Tony a child because he probably is. And let's give Tony, Tony's kind of a rich kid, so let's give Tony a bunch of zeros and ones. All right, and now we've got two objects. Let's just call our data an array of these objects. So we've got object one and object two. And let's see what it looks like. Great, exactly what we want. These are the objects, and you see that they're within an array. So the reason I'm doing this is because I just want to see, I want you to see what it's like to iterate over a, a data set and add each document. Um, I'm sure there's another way to do it, but oh, this is how I'm going to do it. So let's do for record in data. Um, now we get back to the Firebase stuff. So when we add data, it looks like this. You're going to have a doc reference, which is going to reference the um, collection which is users and then the document title this is like the key to the document and uh, then you're gonna set it here with an object we already have objects defined that is our essentially in this it's gonna be the record here, I'll just show you uh, print the record you can see what the, how it's gonna look like so it's gonna iterate through each of these so let's make our doc ref what was that again? Doc ref db.collection. And this is going to be, let's call this users. And dot document. Now, um, this is going to be, if you notice in this example, it's they're putting a name, but we can do it programmatically. We can do document 
record name. This will access the name um, property of the record that we're in. So the first one, the title of the this document will be Mike. And then we can do, what was it? Doc set, doc ref dot set. And then we can do doc ref dot set and just throw the whole record in there. And then shift enter and it should have iterated through both of these, added them into the database. I will prove it to you now by going back to our database. And here we go. There you've got Mike and Tony, each with identifiable by these keys. So now to get data, let's look at the get data. So we've got a doc ref. Okay, so we're gonna do a db.collection and then we'll do a stream. You know what? This is actually just gonna work just fine to drop it right in. So to read the data, we've already got users. Oh, notice we, our users is a capital U. I'll just show you what happens with the lowercase u. There's nothing there, so nothing gets printed. But our users has an uppercase u, and so now we should see both records get printed. What happened? Service, what? Huh? Isn't that funny? It just let us do it. What? Okay. Let's go to rules. Allow read and write if request dot time is less than timestamp dot date 2020. Seems reasonable. What about the data? <gasps> what happened? There it is. Let's go back. You know what? Who cares? It works. So there you go. We added and then we retrieved. And you see how when you retrieve it, um, you have this doc ID that you can access that shows up here. Um, but then you can just get the whole thing doc to dictionary. So then you got, you got the whole thing as another object right here. Thank you for coming to my Firebase Firestore TED Talk. Have a good day.